Hi, set two maths. Okay, your maths homework this week is linking into our lessons, which was about describing uh, position and direction. And you're going to be translating shapes on a uh, quadrant grid this weekend. So, first of all, what you must do um, in your homework is plot the four coordinates of a shape that I've given you. So remember, when we're plotting coordinates, we go along the x-axis first, and then we go up the y-axis. So we're going to plot these four coordinates. We would start with 3, 1. So we'd go along the x-axis and up the y, and we would plot that coordinate there. Then we're going to go 5, 1. So along the x, up the y, we're going to plot it there. Then we're going to plot 5, 4, which will be there. And we're going to plot 3, 4, which will be there. And then you would use a ruler and you would very neatly join up the four coordinates to make your sh original shape. Okay? So once you've made your shape, you're then going to translate it and write the new set of coordinates for that shape. Okay? So I've given you three, uh, three coordinates that I want you to translate this original shape. So by the end of this task, you would have three other shapes on this quadrant grid. Okay, so remember, if we're translating a shape negative first, we're going to go to the left. And if we're translating a shape uh, with a positive number, we're going to go to the right. Uh, that will take you along the x-axis. Then again, if we're translating a shape with a negative number, on the y-axis, we will go down. And if we're translating a shape with a positive number on the y-axis, we will go up. For example, if we're going to translate this shape, negative 3, negative 3, okay, I would pick one corner of the shape and I would move with that one first. So we're going negative 3, so we're going to go to the left. So we'll count from this point, 1, 2, 3, and we would plot our points there, okay? And then it's going to be negative 3 again, so we're going down, 1, 2, 3. So that is where you would plot your point. So that point there is that part of the rectangle. Okay, then we'll look at the next corner. Again, the same direction, we're going negative 3, negative 3, so we're going left 3 and down 3. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and plot the point there. Okay, then we're going to go to the next corner, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and we would plot the point there. And finally, the last corner, negative 3, negative 3, we're going to go 3 left, 1, 2, 3, and 3 down, 1, 2, 3. And then you would join up, again you would use a ruler in your homework, the four points of your translated shape. And you can see there you've translated that shape to here, negative 3, negative 3. Now, if you're going to then write a new set of coordinates for this shape, okay, again you would just pick the, the first corner you used, and remember you're going along the y-axis first, and then you're going, sorry, on the x-axis first, and then the y-axis. So along the x-axis, okay, this would be uh, 0, okay, and then on the y-axis, it would be negative 2. So that would be your first coordinate. And remember, your coordinates are written in brackets. Your next coordinate, if we're looking at this point, okay, on the x-axis, would be 2. And on the y-axis, it would be negative 2. Then, if we're looking at the next point, on the x-axis, we are back on 0. And on the y-axis, it is 1. And finally, this point here, along the x-axis, you're looking at 2. And on the y-axis, which, remember, is going up and down, you're looking at 1. And they would be your new set of coordinates for this shape here. Okay, then I'm going to ask you to translate the next shape. Okay, so if we have a look at your coordinates here, you've got negative 6 and 1. Now we go back to the original shape and we will translate it again. Don't translate the new shape. So if we go back to this original red shape here and we go back to this corner, we're going negative 6 and we're going 1. So we're going to go to the left 6 because it's negative. Remember, we go along the x-axis first. And then we're going to go up 1 on the y-axis because we're working on a positive number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then we're going up 1. That's that point here. So then if we look at this point, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
and up one here. Okay, again, negative 6 is going left 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and up 1. And finally, the last point, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and up 1. Now, you're going to join these four points using a ruler, okay, to make your next translated shape, uh, which will look like this. Okay, once you've done that, again, you will write a new set of coordinates for your translated shape. So again, if we start with this corner, and we, remember we, we write the coordinates, the x-axis first, and then the y-axis. Okay, so on the x-axis, you've got negative 3, and then on the y-axis, you've got 2. So the first one in brackets is negative 3, 2. Your second point, okay, on the x-axis is negative 1. And on the y-axis is 2, so negative 1, 2. Okay, your third point on the x-axis, which remember is going across, okay, here, is negative 3. And on the y-axis, it's 5, so negative 3, 5. And finally, the last point on the x-axis is negative 1. And on the y-axis, it would be 5 again, negative 1 and 5. So they would be your new coordinates for your new translated shape. And then you would go on and look at the final uh, coordinates back to your original shape, remember, where you would plot those points 3, negative 1. Okay? So that's your homework for this weekend, Year 6. I hope that helps. Um, and any questions, please send me an email over the weekend. Good luck. And remember, lots of SATs practice off the website I've sent you.